Hello and welcome to the second part of our Let's Play Desert Rats 1940-42. We, we are playing scen scenario uh, Compass 1 and after the turn uh, 1 and turn 2 allies managed to capture two uh, victory points each of them worth one and uh, Italians are uh, out of supply here uh, this means they are forced to retreat, retreat. but uh, English tanks are on their way and uh, most of the English uh, uh, sorry, allied uh, units attacks from the south so uh, Italians of the Libyan Corps are not in a very good situation but uh, to win uh, this battle Allies have to ca uh, capture at last four of the victory points. Uh, one of them is here, and one of them is here. So, to gain at last minor victory, they have to capture these two hexes. Okay, so uh, what are we gonna do? At first I think I'll move this 7th Armored Brigade here in the risky yet I think possible attempt uh, to capture uh, these crossroads. I will support this attack with uh, ground attack uh, aircraft and I hope it will be enough to uh, push these Italians back. Next. I'm gonna move this uh, armored battalion one, two, three, four, five here. It is very, very weak, as you may see. It has only one strength point, but uh, I hope it will be enough to uh, keep these Italians here and not uh, to move them uh, forward to cut these British tanks out of supply, while. Uh, mo uh, majority of the British units will perform an attack here. This attack will be supported by the British monitors. Now, I, I'm gonna move this uh, Hindu infantry one, two, three, four. And oh, I'm sorry, I have to check. Yes, yes, I can. I can do it. And then this uh, Hindu unit is out of supply, supply, so one, two, three, four. I'm not gonna uh, make it uh, make uh, make it uh, use in any attack. I let it rest till it get its supply supply back. Now I have this uh, HQ. I think I'm gonna move it one, two, three, four. Five, six. It will have this uh, British units in range and these two. Sadly, it won't have these uh, tanks, but uh, you can't have it all. Okay, uh, that's all when it comes to the British movement phase. Sorry, Allied, <laughs> Allied movement phase. Uh, we are moving to the Allied combat phase. First and the most important here. We have seven, seven strength point of the points of this uh, seventh armored brigade, three strength points from this uh, AA support, so we have total ten against six uh, strength points of the two Italian uh, regiments, which give us two to one for British units. We have also minus one because of the fortifications here which gives us one to one and we have minus one because of the Italian HQ here which gives us one to two. It won't be an easy thing for British units to force these Italians back. Let's see if we'll, if we'll make it or not. Yes, I'm gonna make a roll. I roll four. 
I roll 4 in 1, 2 means dot B1. It means that Italians are pushed back. This is good. A British unit moves forward and captures this point. But also, British unit has to uh, pass this organization check because of this dot. I'm gonna make a roll and I rolled 11. 11 means that Allied, uh, ally, uh, allied uh, forces are disorganized. I'm gonna mark them as disorganized and they will have some uh, problems if they want to attack forward in the next turn. But for them most important is to keep this position than to attack later. Now let's move here. We have four 5 against 3. This gives us 2 to 1 because of the star uh, this, uh, we have 3 to 1 these uh, Italians are not fortified so I uh, can use the star uh, and both units have uh, are in the range of the uh, HQs so we have 3 to 1 for Ital for allies. That's good. But I rolled 11. It is not very good for allies. 11 in 3 to 1 means minus 1 minus 1. It means both sides are suffering loss, one loss for the Hindu unit and for the Italian division. So, both sides suffered losses, no one moves. And now here we have 2, 3 and 6. This gives us totally 11. 11 plus plus 4 because of the British monitors. This gives us totally 15 uh, strength points against 3, 6 and 9. We have 15 against 9 this means uh, we have, I'm sorry, gotta, check, gonna count it, uh, 15, 9, uh, this is 1 to 1. This is 1 to 1 uh, and uh, we have both uh, HQs, so no uh, any, m m any changes because they, they are both using them. And here uh, Italians are in the fortifications. So it will be 1 to 2 for attacker. Not a very good. I rolled 8. 8 means A, A1. This means as attacker moves back. Oh sorry, I forgot to mark these Italians are retreating and now these British units are retreating as well. And for now, we're, uh, uh, we're, uh, we're gonna move into British supply phase. And now, how, we, how it goes. First, I can remove this unit, uh, this minus one. They are supplied. And for now, these British units are supplied. These two, these two these two and these two. So all British units are supplied. Very good for them. So how about Italians? They are not in very good uh, situation. Uh, they just lost this uh, crossroads near Bagbak. This means uh, that uh, allies are uh, getting closer to get at last minor victory they have to do something to prevent it. I think I will try a counter-attack here. This Italian division is not very strong, but uh, it may somehow succeed, since they are attacking, uh, the, the defenders are only quite a weak uh, 
Recon Tank Regiment. As for the others, um, I'm not sure if I can uh, make this attack uh, successful. Uh, British tanks are stronger, by all means, but uh, I think I don't have much uh, choice. I'm gonna try uh, to take these crossroads back, especially since I can use this uh, Black Shirts division as a support. One, two, three, and one, two, three. This gives Italians enough strength to maybe push the British tanks back. Let's hope so. And now here. Here the situation for Italians is getting dirty. They are uh, kind of uh, surrounded. And to fight their way to, the, to their positions, it will be hard. I will try it, eventually, to make it gonna keep all these units on this hex and perform one blow. Maybe it will work, maybe not. Okay, uh, that uh, I guess will be all when it comes to the Italian movement. Let's uh, move to the Italian combat phase. So, here we have six against two. This means we have 3 to 1, and since ally, uh, allied unit is in fortifications, we have 2 to 1. So, Italians have uh, quite a chance to succeed. Sadly, they won't. I rolled 12. 12 in 2 to 1 means D minus minus 1 minus 1. This means both attacking units are disorganized and one of them suffers one loss. No good. No good for Italians. While attacker uh, uh, suffers one loss as well. Not very good for British too. Okay, here. Italians have six and 6. This gives, gives us totally uh, 12. Against 7. Uh, 7, uh, this means 2 to 1. Uh, take care that British unit is disorganized. Uh, their, their strength would be halved, but only if they would attack, not, uh, not in defense. But British tanks have star. This is also a modifier. So, uh, uh, Italians have 12, 12 they, ha uh, they have 7, so it gives us 2 to 1, uh, 3 to 1 because of the uh, Italian HQ, and 2 to 1 because of the star. This star, of course. So, we have 2 to 1. Still, not a bad situation for Italians. I rolled 9. 9 in 2 to 1 means attack, uh, minus 1, B1 minus 1. Attacker suffers 1 loss, while defender also suffers 1 loss and is forced to retreat 1 hex, while attacker may pursue it. So, this crossroads is taken back by our brave Italian soldiers. Haile Mussolini! And now here. Italians have... Uh, also, take note that Italians are out of supply here. This means their strength is halved. So we have... Two, two, and one. This gives us totally five. Five against three gives us 
two uh, to one. Uh, HQs are in effect both, so uh, no nothing uh, happens, and defender has one star. So we had two to one. And because of the star, we have one to one. I rolled six. Six in one to one means B1. So defender retreats and attacker moves on. I should also point, sorry, place these counters on the defending units. And that's all for the Italians. Now uh, we are moving to the Italian supply phase. So all these units are still out of supply. I'm gonna place two counters on them. OK, now it's time for the last turn of this scenario. Um, uh, British, uh, sorry, Allied forces still ha control only two victory points. They just lost uh, the one here and they, are, they can, still can't uh, control, uh, capture this one here. So, this is the last turn and last chance for the Allies to gain at last uh, minor victory. Uh, what I'm gonna do? Uh, first I'm gonna try to move this uh, tank uh, battalion one, two, three, four. Um, and this is gonna be something extremely uh, risky uh, I'm really not quite sure if it will work. I have very mixed feelings about this, but uh, th that's the game. You can't have uh, you can't have it all. This means uh, I will leave a very weak units uh, here uh, near Sidi Barani and move all the stronger unit, uh, all the tanks I could here to perform one daring risky attack on these Italians. Maybe it will work, maybe not. As for the others, I will attack these Italians. Oh no, I'm not gonna do this, sorry. I will try something else. I will take all my units here and th these guys, they will be just fortifying themselves to keep these Italians here. Um, uh, now the question is what I should do with this headquarter. I could keep it here and support this attack or move it closer to this point to, the, to this point and support this attack. Both attacks needs it. That's easy to guess. Um, now, I think I, it will stay here. That's still a lo uh, some, uh, something I can't predict uh, what will happen. Okay, that's all when it comes to the uh, movement phase. Uh, now we're gonna move to the combat phase. We have two battles. Each of them is very important and can be key uh, battle for this scenario final result. Now here we have one and this unit has four but since it was disorganized it has only two. So these British tanks has only, uh, have only uh, three strength points and they have plus three because of the AA forces against three, six. This gives us one to one. Uh, because of the uh, Italian headquarter, uh, we have one to two, and because of these uh, two stars, we have one to one and two to one, since we count each star independently.
So this means allies have, I think, some chance to succeed. Let's see if they will. I rolled 8. 8 means b1. So Italians are pushed back and this victory point changes owner once again. The British tanks are here. So it went quite well. Now here we have 4, 6, 9, 15 and 19. We have 19 against 3, 6, 9. 19 against 9 means we have 2 to 1. We have both units have uh, their headquarters in range, so uh, this gives us nothing. And Italians are in fortifications. This totally gives us one to one. Now, it will be decisive roll, maybe something like this. I rolled four. Four gives us dot b1. Italians are forced to retreat. They can retreat to Sidi Barani while Oh, sorry, I should remove these fortifications and allies capture this victory point. But sorry, first I have to perform a disorganization check for all the attacking units because of the dot. So, first this Hindu brigade, five, and now these three British units. Upper one, seven. This is Italian's last stand and their last chance to change something on the board. Uh, they have a uh, little to lose. They can risk everything to capture each of these victory points. It won't be easy, but they have to try. First here. Uh, this bo both of these units are disorganized, so they have this, their strength halved. We have two here, so it means we have one, and we have three here, so it means we have two. So we have totally three strength points against one. This gives us three to one, and two to one because of the fortifications. I think it's something that Italians might succeed. I rolled eight. Eight means B1, so British tanks are forced to retreat, and this point is captured by the, our brave Italian soldiers. I'm pretty certain that Mussolini will be pride, proud of them and, and will give them a lot of medals. Now here we have three six and five this gives us eleven eleven against one and five uh, 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 sorry uh, uh, three uh, because, sorry um, the uh, Italians have eleven and this have two because it is disorganized and this have one so they have three eleven against three gives us 4 to 1. Because of the H HQ we have five to, 5 to 1, but since we have 2 stars here we have f 3 to 1. 3 to 1. Not very good. Let's see what I will do. I rolled 11. 11 means 1 and 1. This means British uh, uh, defenders lose this 7 Royal Tank Regiment. Italian, uh, suffer, Italian units suffer one loss as well, but British units managed to keep this point. 
and now we have Italian uh, supply, uh, supply phrase first this these two are still out of supply supply they have three and these two as well they have three so I have to make another rolls to check if they are uh, eliminated or not. We have two units here 6 and 6 and we have three units here 1, 4, 5 and 3 so they are all alright but that's the end of the turn 4 and this scenario ends here like I said, it's pretty short scenario. Uh, my uh, playthrough may, may seem pretty long because I have to explain all the stuff, but in normally this uh, scenario might be end in about 20-25 uh, minutes, I guess. Maybe even faster. So, uh, let's see uh, how uh, it worked. Uh, British uh, forces managed to capture three victory points. One here, one here, and one here and this means they have minor, minor victory hmm. not